Definition decoder. These are not the funniest. I have to admit that. Dog sled. Polar coaster. Kind of like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. yeah. a polar coaster. We, we got it. Oh, you got it's it? Just, it's just not that funny. Just not oh, okay. So in testing. <laughs> in testing. <laughs> Taking an exam. Okay. Educational television. <laughs> text tube, like your textbook. Yeah. Text yeah. tube. Yeah, okay. yeah. Now, anyway, um, so, so how are you guys are at solving the proportions, you know, the cross multiplying? You guys good at that? Yeah. Okay, that should, even if you weren't, that should have got you up to speed. That's my goal. Um, now, let's, let's take a look at the rest of this real quick, and I will just do this verbally. Get ready to participate. Page 115. Page 115, number 30. How <coughs> many cars? What? 341. 341 cars. Come on, help me out. Help me out. This actually tells me whether or not you understand what's going on. 31 is 156 miles. 32, about how many feet? 184.2. 184.2 feet. Good deal. 33 is about 262.59. 34, what'd you get? 19.33, good job. 35 is 18. 36, what'd you get? 2.56, 2.6, 2 2 right through there. Okay, 37 is 0.8. 38, what'd you get? Negative 3. 39 is 11. 40, about how many students? 800. So they tricked you. They said, how many are not athletes? Not how many are athletes, so reading technical stuff. 41 is about 130 students. 42, how many gallons should you buy? 5.6. How many gallons should you buy? I would say six, because half gallon, they sell quarts, but they're not very, very um, uh, economical. So just round up to the next gallon. If not, the next gallon after that, like say for me, if I'm doing that, I'm gonna get seven gallons just to make sure I've got enough because there's nothing worse than being in the middle of the paint job not having enough paint. Drive you crazy. Okay, what else do we have here? 44, what'd you get? How many students? 2,500. Okay, uh, moving on. 49, is he gonna make it or not? No. No, because there's 10 gallons in the whole tank at 32 miles per gallon, 320 gallon, or 320 miles, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And then, so he's just over half, which would be just over 160 miles, and when in doubt, pull over and get some gas. That's kinda silly, you're running out of gas. 51 is C. 52 is 5.02. 53 is G. 54 is C. We'll go back if we need to. 55, no solution. F of A can't be equal to a negative. No, no, no. Um, 64, about 46.8 square inches. About 46.8 square inches. Okay. Here we go. Questions, please. On any of yes, ma'am. What? Never mind. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Sixty-four. Okay. Oh, look at this. I'm already right on track here. Oh, the geometry. Find that. Okay. So what we've got is we have a shape like this, and they're saying all four of these are the same. So if we just take a look at one of them, find the area of the one, we should be able to take that times four. So what they're saying is the base is 5.02 of each, 5.2, not 5.02. So that's the base of a small one. The height of a small one is 
Okay, so the area of just a small triangle, one half the base times 4.5. The area of a small triangle, here we go, 2.6 times 4.5, 11.7. Okay, so the area of the whole thing, we're going to take that times 4, and that's where they come up to 46.8. Really? Did you blow up the dimensions of the triangle first? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So what she did, she said that's 4.5, this is 4.5. She said the whole thing's going to be 9 inches. Okay, she said that's 5.2, the whole thing's going to be 10.4 inches. Anybody raise your hand if you did it that way? Okay, good. So more people did it that way then. So I like it when you guys share with me. I did it different this is the way I did it because then I see how you guys think in comparison to how I think. Okay, good. That's one of the things I love about mathematics. As long as you do logical stuff, then you should end up in the same spot, which is cool. Yeah, let's look at 39. Okay, everybody look at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you bet. So 39, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Um, two, 2n minus 4 over 5 is equal to 3n plus 3 over 10. So we're going to go ahead and cross multiply. You got a proportion, let's go ahead and cross multiply. 5 times that gives me 15n plus 15 equals 10 times that, which is 20n minus... 40. Find your mistake? Oh, yeah, it needs to be minus 40. Watch your signs. So then I'm going to go ahead and subtract 15n. Thirty-seven. The yes, answer thirty-seven is zero point eight. Okay. Here's what I'd like you guys to show me. On these problems with the proportions, the word problems with proportion. I want you to show me using the thumb gauge. I'm really confused. Thumbs down. Thumbs up. I got them all right, and they're a piece of cake. And I want you to show me any variation between. Show me with your thumb gauge. Okay, so we've got some side. We got so, so what I've planned today is I want to work on just reading. Uh, I'm going to work on, work on some more proportions from a worksheet. Okay, um, and I want to work on reading those, teasing out the necessary information, setting up your proportion correctly, and then solving. So, any other questions? You guys are tired today. Wait. Yeah. No. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be 2.4, 2.5 quiz. Okay. 2.4 is solving things with variables on both sides. Okay. 2.5 is solving absolute values and applications of absolute values as well. Okay. So. Probably should have done that on Thursday or Friday when I was gone. I didn't realize we were quite ready for that, but oh well. Okay. So no other questions? You guys are good? Okay, so I got some questions for you. Grab a piece of scratch paper and, and, and your calculator. I want you to do a couple things for me here. percent of 1200 is X find X I'm interested you got to be able to get it right but I'm interested to see how you did it as well 
There's two ways to do this. I think one way is a lot easier than the other, um, but I realize some of you guys like other methods as well. 43% of 1,200 is X. This is what one of your worksheets is going to be about. Excuse me. <laughs> so what do you get? 516. 516. So, how'd you guys do it? 0. 0.43 times 1,200 equals x. Right there, it's all written out for you. 43% of, of is times, is, is equals. Equations develop themselves really pretty easily. If you <coughs> did it proportions, there's another way to do it. You can say 43 out of 100, because that's 43%, is how much of 1,200? Raise your hand if you did it that way. Okay. I don't think that's necessarily a bad way, but, but what I want you guys to do is if you always do it one way or the other, I want you to try the other way today. Okay, I don't want you doing the same thing all the time. And because this way, I think, is going to prove itself to be very valuable today. Yes? Can you do 43 times 1,200? Yeah, that's what I... Um, you could, yes. I, yeah, I see what you're saying. I just think about 0.43 is 43%, and we can just kind of do that, I suppose, either now or later. I, I like it. No, you're right. Okay, let's go like this. 130 is what percent of 500? Solve that. And again, this stuff you should have done before, so I want to kind of see how you're doing it and um, give you guys other ways to think about it. Should this percent be more than 100% or less than 100%? It should be less because the number we're looking for is a, is a fraction of the original. Excuse me. Okay. So, 2. what percent? 26%, okay. Here's how I would do it. 130 is what percent of 500? That's how I would do it. Okay? So I'm just trying to expose you to a different way if you're always doing the other way. 30 divided by, uh, 13 divided by uh, 50 is 0.26. So obviously that's 26%. Okay? If we did a proportion, 130, 500, is how much out of 100? So again, show hands. How many of you are doing the proportion? Oh, jeepers. Nice job. Okay. But the is and of language should speak pretty clear. Okay. Um, but either way, it's fine. Let's do, let's do another one. Hmm. Hmm. Um, 126% of what? Number is Number going to be bigger than 375 or smaller? 126 percent of what number gives us 375? I think our number is going to be smaller than 375. Not a ton smaller, but it's going to be smaller. It's not like going to be 10 or anything like that. So this is where sometimes to do proportions, you've really got to have it in your mind which one's bigger, which one's smaller. And sometimes that's where it gives you grief. So let's take a look at the is of language. What's 126% as a decimal? 1.26 of x is 375. Now how do we solve this equation? 
How do we solve this equation? Come on. Divide by 1.26. So now we just grab 375 divided by 1.26. Gives me, let's say, 297.6. Okay, if we did it for did it proportions-wise, 126 out of 100 is 375 would be the end result. And that's where I think this method falters a little bit. So using this of and is language to write an equation, and we spend so much time writing equations and, um, and solving equations that why not use that a little bit too, okay? So that's what I want you to do. Um, today, here's what we're gonna do. Two worksheets, okay? Um, This is all, this one I'll let you guys do on this worksheet. This is a piece of cake. Not do on a different sheet of paper. Let's say if we're going to do um, number nine. Just read me the equation for number nine. So, so what should I write? Zero nine. I'm going to use L for length equals 180. Then you guys can just grab your calculator and solve it. <coughs> okay? The other side is going to be solving proportions. The reason why I did this one is I think we need a little bit more practice on making sure that we have the same units, um, that we're putting the same stuff on top all the time, same stuff on bottom all the time. Okay? So like on something like this, you guys didn't ask any questions from the book, so I want to point out one thing here real quick. Let's say if I'm going to go water leaking from a faucet, 1.5 gallons for every five minutes. So let's, we go gallons over minutes, and then I can set up my proportion. Can you see this? 1.5 over 5 equals um, 18 minutes, so 18, and how many gallons of water? So this helps you realize I'm doing gallons over minutes, gallons over minutes, then you just cross multiply. So. Okay? So the worksheets are on the desk back behind Gavin. You can grab one. Can we use a separate sheet of paper for the back side? Yes, I would say use a separate sheet of paper for the back side. Um, we might wait on that. No, I'm going to tell you right now. We're also going to have page to get ready for the quiz, 141, 41 through 53 odd. Sorry, Edie. <laughs> and the one thing that is not on this review assignment is that'll be on the quiz are the applications of absolute values. Remember how we found, um, you know, ways to express things that were, that were five units away from 17. Okay. You might want to look back at those, and I'll have one of those on on the review in the morning as well. I, we had a, like, I had a problem with that when you were gone. But, uh, like, you on the assignment. Okay, which assignment would that be? That would be the page number seven. Okay, well, maybe what we need to do. Oh, yeah, we, we never, never went over the answer. <coughs> okay. Um, <coughs> 